Hey Jake, what do you want to be when you grow up? I don't know. What about you? Hmm, maybe a mom. Or oh, wait, I think maybe a singer. Oh, I know, a teacher. Teacher? Why? I don't know. It's so hard. Kids are the future of our society. While I was traveling speaking at various schools and colleges, I came across a troubling trend. How long have you been in the game? Since I was 10. Why would you join a game since you were 10? Because that, that's, that's where I grew up at. And like, that, that it's, it's my family. We, we protect each other. We are great. The only reason people are in gangs, I, in my personal opinion, is because they ha they want a sense of belonging. Like just the fact that they're in the gang and 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 they know that they belong to some crew. That's that's what makes that's what everybody everybody wants to feel like they belong somewhere, right? Some kids don't even think they'll make it to 21. I don't think that education is a priority, unfortunately. Video games where it's just who can you kill? You know, you have uh, just more violence, I think. And a lot of these things impact our schools a great deal. At elementary schools, 55% of our schools met their targets. At middle school, 7% of our schools met all of their targets. And at high school, 29% met their targets. You know, we talk about it every year, but there's never any action to do that. There is no doubt our middle schools, I mean, if we're sending our kids to our middle school, they have 7% chance of making it. That's terrible. Let's figure out what we're going to do for our middle schools because this is just not acceptable. Seven percent? Yep, it just, uh, it just follows my mind. According to UNICEF, nearly a billion people entered the 21st century unable to read a book or sign their names. This total includes 130 million of school-aged children. According to National Center for Family Literacy, there are as many as 90 million people in the United States with limited literacy skills. Many of them are parents. I began to wonder as to why is this happening in this day and age and in America? And it became quite obvious at some point that this didn't have all that much to do with what was best for the child or appropriate. And at some point I was told to keep my mouth shut and that I was not a child advocate. States returned more than 66 million in unused federal education funds to the Treasury in 2004. And up to now, the total is over $6 billion. Where's the money? I want to know. So we started doing some investigation. Pretty amazing, and it's almost sacrilegious. I mean, it's absolutely horrible. It's in their own interest not to identify as many who need to get identified because they end up then it costs them money. It's a broken promise. What are the politicians doing to recapture that six billion? That should be the question. Illiteracy in America is a form of child neglect and child ab abuse and illiteracy in America is a broken promise. I just don't understand most of the words in the book. In high school we have kids coming into 10th grade that can't read at 10th grade level. They're at 7th grade level. What are they doing in 10th grade being passed on? The child basically in elementary school gets passed along, passed along, until the point that they know absolutely nothing in the, next, in the last grade of the elementary school. We've been doing this for over 50 years, passing children through elementary school and through high school, giving them diplomas without them having the basic skills of reading and writing. I tried to tell myself that I must be from someplace else. I couldn't have been born. They think they're dumb, and I hear kids say it over and over again. They believe they're retarded, when they may be very brilliant. Unfortunately, if you don't give them a positive place to go, they're going to find a negative place to go. The first and most powerful tool, I think, is mentoring. Because many of our kids, if they haven't seen it, they don't believe it exists. Don't tell me I can be a doctor. I've never seen a doctor that looks like me. 
So mentoring is one powerful tool that those people who crossed over the bridges that these kids now have to cross over, if they committed time to say you can do it. Particularly when we're talking about a population of youth who often don't have fathers present in the home. Shows how like they made it to be who they are. They'll promote us to help us who we want to be. They can have a couple of people come up to the school like like a career people or something. Like mentors? Yeah. yeah. You don't have any of those coming to school? No. Any creative arts? Well, yeah, like they'll give you like, it ain't like they're telling you to draw anything. They'll give you like a coloring book and some crayons. How some teachers teach like makes it they make boring. It boring. But if you want a kid to learn something, try to at least make it a little fun so they can be more interested in it. They take us out to field trips. And maybe take us on like to college tours and stuff. Yeah. If I got a job and got something to do, that other than sit outside and game bang, I'm not going to go. I'm going to try to make my money. Business owners, I keep going back to all of these folks because some people don't connect to the schools as being stakeholders. You don't want your business robbed, then you support your local school. Because if a kid needs money and they don't think school is the way and they don't have all the resources they need to become as productive as they can, they're going to try to find the easy way out. And you're going to have to lock your doors. And we don't want that to happen. And that's throughout the world, not just in America. I didn't like being teased like that because it hurt me and it didn't do anything to them because it's not them with the problem. I went through school and I never even received any support and um, but I gave up my social life for that and a lot of other things just so that I wouldn't have to show up as being wrong. Why don't you care for every single student should have a great chance of, in life to have such a great life, living it like great people have done. We were the future, you know, we could change it. They might as well focus on making us good people and good education. Sing with me, y'all.